I saw these orange lights many times. They appear here and there. One time at 5 a.m., one time at 7 p.m. They are round, disc-shaped, and they have a flat dome on top. They have notches on their sides, like bitten out, and they are surrounded by light. Sometimes they are more yellowish, sometimes more reddish, sometimes they rotate. It was about 7.30 p.m. My daughter comes home from school at that time. I went to the corner of the street to pick her up. Then I waited for her. It suddenly appeared in the sky. It was very, very big. In the middle of this round, big thing was something moving. It looked like it would change its colors. I showed it to my daughter, but she only said, don't look at it, come on, let's go. But I wanted to see it. Its center pulsated. It was very large and round, very bright. It was yellow with orange light. They look like the sun. They are round and have many little lights. They are yellow, orange and white, and they appear and disappear. The light objects sometimes suddenly appear, fly and disappear again. Most of the time they disappear in the direction of the Tepozteco hill. Most people here have seen them. You will find that out when you ask in the town. One night we saw this light in the mountains. We observed it through our binoculars. It was very bright, pulsated in red and orange, but was mostly red. It looked like it had landed on a hill. It was a round object. For several minutes it stayed there, then it suddenly disappeared. We saw for several times these lights over the Cerro de la Luz. They were red and yellow and orange. They were round. We were driving in a car when we saw this big object, as big as a bus or a truck. It was very large. It was shining in a very bright, intense light, red and yellow. It was around 7.30 p.m. when I saw a strange luminous object standing on the Cerro de Hombre. It was an orange-colored object, round, very, very, very bright, and very, very, very big. It was brighter and bigger than an aircraft light. It came down slowly and eventually lighted up the whole area where it was landing. It was staying there for 15 minutes. I was together with another sister of our order. It came, stood there, and suddenly vanished. It was orange-colored very bright, round, and big. It was hovering here above the trees, not too high, it was a large, orange-colored disc, and suddenly it disappeared. One time, during my training here, I saw such an object over the Cerro de la Luz. It had exactly the shape and the colors as on the photo. It was round and consisted of yellow and red light. 
I saw these objects several times over the rocks and hills, one time in this direction, one time over there, another time over Zematsin, always at night, one time at 8 p.m., one time at 4 a.m. Yes, they are identical. They have these red and yellow lights, and whenever they appear suddenly, all the dogs start to howl and bark. I saw this red-orange light two times in this direction, the third time over the Zematsin, in direction of the village Santiago, a little bit to the left. This was two months ago. The sighting lasted for about three minutes. It was gliding, wobbling, went up and down. Another time was at 9 p.m. My wife was there. My mother was there. We saw how this luminous object moved down slowly and jerky before it suddenly disappeared. All of a sudden, in a break of a second, it just disappeared. We were a group of people in a meditation class at a detoxication seminar. When we suddenly saw this light in the mountains, it was very impressive because it was very large. It changed its colors, stood there for a while before it suddenly disappeared. We were all very impressed by what we saw. It looked like it were looking for a place to land. It had bright colors and when it rose they became more intense and it grew and changed its colors. It was yellow and orange mixed, more or less like on the photos of Carlos. All of a sudden it disappeared. Although I am a doubting Thomas, this is credible. Many people have seen these objects at different opportunities in different parts of Tepotzlan. They appear within a second, hover in the sky and disappear again. They look like on the photos and films, and this proves they are real. I had several sightings by my own over the hills, for example, over the Zematsin, the hill of life. The colors of this luminous object were very impressive. It was red and yellow, also some violet was in it. It was very impressive. It was quite a big apparatus, an enormous object of light.